fun size spooks. 13 common phobias. Fear, it has been a driving force since our early evolution, and experiencing fear with its rapid heart rate, increased respiration, and fight or flight response kept our ancestors alive so they could pass on their cowardly genes to us. But many of us experience so-called irrational fears, existential dread of something that is not logically a danger to us in the modern world. This is called a phobia. Phobias are often acquired from experiencing a traumatic event or even from hearing about someone else's terrifying experience. Here are the 13 most common phobias in the Western world. Acrophobia, fear of heights, Modern innovations such as skyscrapers, bridges, and roller coasters put humans further and further from the ground and terrorize the sufferers of this phobia, which affects about 23 million people. Agoraphobia, fear of unsafe places with no means of escape. Triggers may be open or crowded spaces such as public transit, shopping malls, or simply being outside the home. Arachnophobia, fear of spiders, affects one in four people. This fear was passed down from our ancient ancestors who had limited treatment for spider bites. However, most bites can now be easily treated. Astrophobia, fear of thunder and lightning, Another genetic remnant from our ancestors, this phobia can often lead to obsessive tracking of weather patterns, which may not be impractical, especially if it gets you out of the path of a cataclysmic weather event. Claustrophobia, fear of enclosed spaces. This fear can be triggered by elevators, windowless rooms, narrow corridors, and even tight-necked clothing. Most of us experience a touch of this in unfamiliar tight spots, but only 5-7% to experience severe anxiety. Colrophobia, fear of clowns. Not sure why some people are afraid of these painted jokesters? Watch Stephen King's It and get back to me. Sinophobia, fear of dogs. While Fido may seem perfectly harmless to some, others hold a visceral fear of canines. This phobia is often linked to a personal experience like a dog attack and is most common in the developing world where dogs are more often strays than pets. Glossophobia. Fear of public speaking is one of the most common anxieties. Even musicians, comedians, and politicians who regularly speak in front of crowds report anxiety about doing so. So don't be embarrassed if you'd rather be in the coffin than giving the eulogy. Mysophobia, fear of germs. Though germ theory has only been widely accepted since the 1850s thanks to Louis Pasteur, we can thank our early ancestors for the fear of illness and contagion. This fear is healthy if it gets you to wash your hands, but it becomes a phobia when you wash your hands dozens of times a day and avoid human interaction or normal activities. Necrophobia, fear of dead things, is less common in cultures where deceased loved ones are cared for in the home by family members. But in the West, death has become highly sanitized and isolated, breeding great fear of the unfamiliar. Ophidiophobia, fear of snakes, similar to arachnophobia with the added biblical connotations. Venomous snake bites are rare and only 15% of snakes are dangerous to humans, but the way they move is pretty creepy. Teromerhanophobia, fear of flying, affects one in three Americans and keeps Amtrak in business. Although you are much more likely to die on the car journey to the airport than at 30,000 feet, this fear can be hard to leave on the ground. Trypanophobia, fear of injections, affects about 10% of us and is often related to fear of doctors and dentists. This phobia can do real harm if sufferers avoid medical care. Though most of us experience some level of discomfort when confronted with any of these creepy crawlies or uncomfortable situations, phobias can be so severe that they dramatically affect a person's life and well-being. Fortunately, phobias can be treated by medical professionals. If a phobia is adversely affecting your life, please seek help. 
what are you most afraid of? If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon and help me make more horrifying videos. Patrons get cool perks like exclusive content, mentions in videos, and can even request video topics. A link to my Patreon is in the description. Thank you for watching and unpleasant dreams, darlings.